Hey everyone, what's up? So, oh, sorry, I'm trying to lower my just come through and chit chat, you know. <laughs> I had a long day and I decided to shoot a video, but you know, I can't just let all this go away. Oh, no. No, no, I can't let all this go away. And so, if you aren't able to sleep or something, you know, just come through and let's talk. I feel like I want to talk this evening. Like, hmm, I finished shooting my video, my next video, and um, I just don't want to let all this run go. You know, my hair looking all. Mm. I had a wash day earlier today and my hair is looking all nice. <laughs> hey, if you're in here, like the stream and wow, me and AJ, my favorite YouTube couple. <laughs> you guys, I'll be following you like something. Hey, how is everyone? How is AJ? My love to her. You guys are amazing. I wish all your videos like it's just unconsciously i watch all your videos but yeah that's great um how was your day let me know how your day went and let me just know flipping through okay lots of you guys are like yeah we are trying to you know sorry you're trying to beat up you know the watch hours i'm trying to be more lively share my life with you all so um, i'll go live as for videos when i shoot it is like i have to be all serious which i really don't like but i have to be you know composed and everything but i come on live to fool around and <laughs> and just you know just do whatever i want to do but yeah that's it today i just want to talk and then um share one or two things like just talk how your day went um yeah how your day went basically today is what wednesday kind of looks like tuesday because we didn't we had a holiday right and today is like what wednesday okay that means you have two days like technically two days were in the week can't wait for the weekend like I so can't wait for the weekend. Ah, I miss, I miss pre-corona. Yeah, I miss going out, hanging out with family, friends. I miss going for events where we can just, you know, be all hyper and have fun, hug people. Now I can't even shake. I can't even hug anyone. Like. Corona is all over the place, like, yeah, so, I mean, we are just trying to be very careful with the precautions, and, yeah, you should check out my next video, it's gonna be fun, like, fun, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't even imagine, but, yeah, I have an assumption video coming up, and, I am looking forward to <coughs> sorry I'm looking forward to having fun on that video like assumption videos are our things that people think of you it could be wrong it could be right and then what you have to let them know whether it's true or not so that, that concept is really cool kind of like the internet you're, you're letting the internet know more about you right so I think it's like what it gets to know me for or something Mm, I think so. Anyway, so let me know, let me know, let me know. Oh, you're welcome, me. You are so welcome. Oh, where's my window? Okay. I have so many tabs on my computer. I don't know if someone else does that, but I'm so bad with tabs, keeping tabs on my... Yay! I'm so bad with 
with with so keeping bad. tabs like so many tabs on my computer i wish i could show you guys the number of tabs that i have like let me see if i can show you let me show the windows i have open so okay ah uh, all of my tabs are kind of like work related okay so this is just for you to see the the tabs that i have on my computer i don't know if you can see but Oh no, let me just flip. So, so I am so bad with tabs. If you can see, hold on a second. If you can see the, the screen, I use each and every one of them. I'm so proud of myself because, nah, like, but trust me, interestingly, I'm able to, like, know, I know every tab. And what it entails I know what everything is made up of like I know everything I can on top of my head tell you from left to right there's about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen ten eighteen one ten twenty three twenty fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nine thirty 31, 32, 30, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. I keep 55 tabs. Like, that's crazy. But interestingly, I know what i do on every tab and whatever i try to keep up with each and every one of them yo cyber 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 <laughs> cyber reviews congratulations on your uh, monetization your last two videos i watched it and when i saw the ad play on your video i was so excited like yo what's up like i was so happy like hey now my eye gets like this <laughs> please your first paycheck do um share it with me um yeah me um live dear yep oh live dear yo live when i'm abandoned you know i do all that so in in keeping my tabs right i try to um restart my machine like almost every day like almost every day like yeah so so that it doesn't affect my ram i'm trying to like stop it but all the tasks were very important to me like what i do with it that's my work i hate trying to log in every time i i open my computer i have to log in so i just save it and once in a while i change passwords that's what i do and then i restart my machine every now and then so yeah um tabs will spoil your it's true tabs will spoil my ram charlie really my my um, solution delivery team lead told me that you know anytime they come and help me something on my machine they're like why do you have so many tabs i'm like i use each and every one of them count it and ask me which one it is and then they will do that but i know i have to change that Cyber review said thanks. Essay, do you have a YouTube open on another device? Cause we get that. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, let me just mute it. I th oh, you see my issue with tabs. Um, there's a minute. I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cyber, let me know the feedback that she gets now. I think you shouldn't hear that. I was trying to monitor myself when no one was online. So, yes. Tabs can spoil RAM. Mm, yes, yeah, so tabs can spoil RAM. Today I've learned that, but I've been told I just not. Um, tab can, tabs can consume data too. Really? That's true? Oh, come on, Sahara. I'm reading your comments. I just can't read all at a time, you know. So I have to be reading it as and when. So, yeah, tabs can consume data. Yeah, actually, because it behaves as if you're using the whole tabs in the window. I think so. I 
think so. I think so. Oh, um, for most of you here missed my live the first time. Please don't forget to like this video as you join in and subscribe. I know you are all subscribers, but yeah. Um, my first live I was talking about food, your favorite dish, and <laughs> cyber. What are we discussing, please? The weather is cold tonight. So what should I play some cools or what? <laughs> yeah, the weather is pretty cold here. Um but I'll turn off my fan because I don't want all the um noise here. So I I've turned it off, but I know it's pretty cold. Cyber, why are you like chatting from so that I know? Um I think you are chatting from somewhere else. I mean Sakumono at the moment so yes um um cold bang use blanket oh sahara ah leave leave us alone <laughs> we want body temperature body <laughs> okay me and aj why won't you let come keep all your logins at every yes i do that so whenever i shut down and then i open a chrome it has to restore all windows and then I restore it all like that. So, um, that's it. What are we discussing? Hmm. Today I had a number of things to talk about, but I'm going to be narrowing down to um, just one or two. So, the other time I shared about, let me see. I don't have a blanket. My fan is on full blast chilling down. Before I make use at night is a good thing. Because I just made up for my next video. You know, my next videos, couple of videos. And I realized that like there's no distraction, no noise, like everything is calm and everything. Ni ni so what let me see. There is no noise. Like shooting at night is really cool. So I've come to like realize it. I feel like that time is the best time for me right now. Like because I have a crazy schedule. I plan my things and everything. But work still like gets overwhelming sometimes. I must say. So I have to like plan my schedule and shoot later in the night or something. And I feel like that's the best time for me, Charlie. Um, okay, okay, okay. Cyber, Charlie, you are doing amazing on your channel, Charlie. I see all you, I watch all your videos, so like me, when I'm loyal, I'm loyal like that. I'll watch, when I see the notifications, I'll go and watch, and then I leave a comment. Sometimes I really don't leave a comment because I have nothing to say, genuinely. I have nothing to say. Ni said, hey, not restoring, no, that's one thing no good, ha. You don't do. <laughs> we are tired. Ah. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. Oh, Sahara, you said what? You don't know. Oh, so Cyber is... Cyber, I think you should introduce yourself. Cyber is into gadgets reviews and telling you about the best gadgets you can get on a budget. Wow. The best gadgets you can get on a budget, you know. And whenever you're making decisions, you can always watch his video and make a decision so cyber is your plug you know best gadget on a budget <laughs> cyber i'm i'm giving you fans here hi gallo welcome where are you chatting me from um let me know where you're chatting me from aquaba is what we say in ghana welcome um Shooting at night is good, but cricket to be singing in the audio and my eye, you know, feedback of instant plan. And I can be your hype man for any day, right? Am I buffering? I can be your hype man for any day, you know, best gadgets for your budget. Like, oh, cyber, feel free, use it. Why use it? So that's it, be free. So, 
Hey, you feel better? Okay. Eh, I, I think it's fine now, eh? Let me know if the network is fine. Like, I think it's fine now. Someone was calling me, actually. So, that was breaking, um, breaking the, the, the connection. Um, also, shooting at night sometimes. The Friday night shows in the video. Charlie, like today, eh, when I was shooting, I had to take some my breath. <laughs> I was tired, like I had lunch like four thirty, almost five. Like that was so late. And then like Charlie, I was tired, but I had to smile. I had to be all bubbly. I had to be all ooh, ooh, ooh. um oh Gallo, let's let's if you're still here, guys. If you're still here, don't forget to like the stream, okay? And 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 let's talk more. How was your day? Like tell me how your day went. Um, I plan to actually talk about, um, with reference to my last video, right, I discussed how you would respond to a thank you. Um, the inspiration for that video was because a lot of people are always saying, you are welcome, you are welcome. And trust me, like, um, everybody saying you are welcome, you are welcome, and now you too much of a cliché. Um, how do I like a stream? Oh, just there's a um a thumbs up like this on the stream asking when you watch a video where you would like the stream or subscribe just there close to the chat yes yeah, symbol or, or, or the yeah mm -hmm. and you know everybody would say oh thank you very much you are welcome like thank you oh when I text somebody and then I thank the person oh you are welcome just a few people will say don't mention or um my pleasure i think yeah at the time ah so i'm like what is this you are welcome you guys let me know how you would respond to a thank you right like what is you are welcome you are welcome and every day you are welcome and every day you're welcome in the office oh thank you you're welcome like ah <laughs> Then I figured, I googled, you know, I googled how to respond, to, like a thank you, how to respond. And then I saw a lot of responses. And then I was so, uh, with other phrases, you know. So I was like, okay, I'll do a video and share about 10 responses. And then let's see how it goes. Like, I hope that someone learned a word or two phrases from the video. So, I, I don't know, I'm, I know some of you have watched the video already, but if you have not, please go and check my last uploaded video, not my live videos. My other live videos are just for skirmishes, you know, yeah. But my very last video, I'll have to like the video later. Okay, I think Sahara, because you are chatting, you need to minimize the chat, um, so you need to minimize the chat um symbol so that you can see the like and the share and thumbs down thumbs up all that in the on the stream okay because i'm looking at it on a computer i don't know how it looks like on the phone currently so yeah so yes i don't know what how would you respond to a thank you please don't i won't judge you just tell me how you'd respond to a thank you. Maybe you say you are welcome or you say um, any other thing. Just share with me. Um, Sahara says, I actually train myself to use my pleasure in response to a thank you, but that didn't last. You're welcome. Now nah, I feel the use. <laughs> My bread. Why break? Yeah, Brenda, you are welcome. Oh, please, let's be bougie, kakra. Let's change, kakra. You know. So I'm just going to wrap up, go through that video and share, or just let me know how um you have like what you've learned from that video. You know, every time we yeah, we do something for people, they say thank you, and then they say you are welcome. I did. Let's be, you know, diverse. Let's be dynamic. Let's be 
you know when someone says thank you another way that you can respond is we are going to go to you through this and then let's see how it goes okay you can say no problem okay no problem anybody who says thank you to you you say no problem repeat after me no problem <laughs> oh what are these notifications ha huh? okay so no problem is another way of responding to a thank you another way that we can respond to a thank you is that's all right or that is all right that's all right or so a friend does something for you and you feel like oh that was nothing that's all right you know repeat after me that's all right <laughs> okay <laughs> um and then the next way that we can respond to a thank you is sure sure is the one word replacement of your welcome so you can use sure um alongside with sure no problem so it, most of you hear people say oh sure no problem like you want to put a friend's um what you call it bill and it goes like charlie thanks mama and you are like sure like you know so bougie like sure and then another way that we can respond to a thank you apart from you are welcome will be my favorite can you guess so another way that we can use it to um, respond to a thank you will be the pleasure is mine the pleasure is mine or my pleasure you know no, he says this is bougie like but like oh the pleasure is mine like that's so wrong like that's so you know francais like french like the pleasure is mine mm. the pleasure is mine mm. thank you the pleasure is mine okay i think the pleasure is mine is sometimes so formal but depends on the setting just the pleasure is mine at least and maybe Diana you are welcome you are welcome at a dear um and then oh one that my brother likes to use pa is no worries no worries oh no worries no worries I got it I got it like yeah you have some things to sort out and then yeah Charlie if you saw that thing for me yeah no worries Charlie you did so <laughs> And another thing that we, we can respond to, thank you appropriately, is what, don't mention it. Don't mention it. Like, mm hmm And, oh, there was another one that I forgot to mention. That one is, it was the least I could do. It was the least I could do. Like, that one is, yeah that one is so true it was the least i could do um Faber said the b word you de you didn't mention no where can i go and learn it <laughs> okay oh um i don't know but i think you can just google it and use a speech indication i will show you how to mention it bougie and if you want to describe someone who is bourgeois a lady is bourgeoisie i think so yeah let me not lie to you <laughs> so yeah that's that's just it um sahara says um i was able to minimize the video then like it now couldn't return to the chat this is my first time chatting on like yeah live chats can be some way like it can be really funny all the time so what you have to do is you have to go back to the person's profile and join the live again oh but that shouldn't have taken you out of the live though yeah the last time like anytime i join a live i'm able to like it automatically and then just you know yeah guys okay 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 cyber charlie go on don't forget to use the line eh? the what gadgets for your budget 
you know, e and give me credits. <laughs> hey, Charlie, my brother, my cousin. Okay, 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 Charlie. See you, Cyber. See you. You added it to it was the least I could do was on your last app. Yes, yes, yes. It was the least I could do was actually on my last upload. It was the least I could do. It was the least I could do. And then we have anytime. Anytime, yes. I actually watched a video yesterday. It was a movie with um, that was God friended me when Myers was preparing for his dad's and uh, wife's marriage wedding, and they were looking like packing in, and the sister was trying to fit in for him and everything, and she thanked him for being there for him at the, for her at the hospital, and he was like, any time. I was so excited. I was like. Woo! I actually took that on my Insta story and I shared it and I was like, if you've not watched my video about how to respond to it, thank you appropriately. This is one of the words. Anytime. Anytime. And oh, thank you. Thank you is another way of responding to a thank you properly. Now that is because you would want to emphasize on the pressing. So if you did something for me and then I said thank you and you and you responded thank you it means that you actually you no know, I was actually helped from what you did so there's really no point of thanking me I mean that's what we say I think in Ghana most of in people would say oh I should rather be thanking you you know in that setting so hey could you could you could you <laughs> Because I watched your video today. I actually joined in your premiere. You did amazing. Knowing that um, you you had shot what in a very long time ago. Like, it's good to see you back again. Like, Kojo, welcome to my life. Okay, so thank you. Well, so instead of saying, oh, I should be the one thanking you and all that. Charlie, just say thank you you man like yeah man thank you thank you so thank you is very sweet yeah it's sweet it shows mutual appreciation that's very true yeah thank you is very sweet like hmm, it lets me know that you appreciate really could you say what it's good to be back oh yeah then diesel mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks for joining in. I'm gratefully on. Oh, Charlie, as for me, I'll join you inside. See, be careful. Go and ask. Um, go and ask. Um, Stella, if you don't shoot a video on the day you're supposed to shoot a video, I will come and PM you that yo, Charlie, no video of you today. Me, I've been on your channel looking forward to your video, Charlie. So please, no video for me. Like I'll talk to you, son notification gang yo <laughs> okay you're always welcome yeah i have to say you're welcome and then the pleasure is mine could you <laughs> um and i just learned to say thank you oh yeah so thank you <laughs> don't mention it could you that's my response so yes, thank you. That's emphasis on you because we will say I should be thanking you. Like, hmm. like I tell my mom, oh, thank you. And she's like, no, you rather. <laughs> oh my word. My mom is such a character. <laughs> I'll talk about her in another video. <laughs> Oh my goodness mommy will always be mommy's man no matter what and oh the last way of saying of responding to a thank you is you are welcome yeah that's a bonus one or you are very welcome so yeah thank you for coming through my life and then you tell me oh 
you're very welcome. We did for you. <laughs> so yeah, we've actually gone through or reviewed some ways that we can respond to a thank you appropriately. Some of you said what you just learned how to say thank you. So yeah, that's okay. Um, Sahara Movie says um, she started saying my she used well she trained herself to use my pleasure and it didn't last. So I don't know, but whenever someone says thank you to me, I make a conscious effort not to say you are welcome. I only say you are welcome to my nieces. Like that's what I have been doing all along. I would only say you are welcome to my nieces and then I'll just but to any other person I would always say my pleasure or I'll say don't mention it or and which other one do I use? It was the least I could do. Like that's my favorite. Like that's so bougie. Like it was the least I could do. <laughs> yeah, the most popular you are welcome. Yes, yes, yes. You are welcome is the very most popular one. So guys, just share with me what your favorite response is to um a thank you. You know, just let me know which of them is your favorite. I've mentioned no problem, no worries. The pleasure is mine. It was the least I could do. Thank you. What? Don't mention it. No worries. What else? Sure. Um, you are very welcome. Yeah. Okay. So, Kojo, how was your day though? Like, and Sahara movies. I wish I knew your real name, but yeah, Sahara movies is what I see. So I'll I'll address you as Sahara movies. I hope you don't mind, and I appreciate that you've been all through in the stream today. I appreciate you so very much. Um. Okay. Over to something that I really wanted to discuss this evening. Oh, your day has been exciting. I'm guessing that's what you wanted to say. All right. So, who? How many of you actually experience a situation where you really have a to do list? Like, a to do list. I have ba, 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 like 10 things to do. And then you have to be dealing with other work and they're all in quadrant one so a quadrant one um a quadrant one situation or so when you're in a support or any organization you have quadrants for any issues so a quadrant one will be high serve um, a high serve or serve one issue that means that anything that you are doing needs to come to a halt and content you have a to-do list of things that are on your list that probably you've been wanting to do like days back or some weeks ago and then you now have an issue which is a step one issue and so that means what all the other things come to a halt and then you have to deal with this issue so it happens almost all the time if you're in a tech company or any kind of organization like sometimes work isn't business as usual because things just come up and down and so you gotta fix it because you're capable of doing it and that's what makes me happy sometimes like i feel like i'm superwoman my team and everybody and it's nice but sometimes it's tiring sahara movie says my name is lydia oh really your name is lydia <laughs> my day was good i went to work then home oh Okay, so you had to go to work. How is how do you feel going to the office and coming back home in all this COVID season? Like I've been working from home for almost three months and I'm sick and tired already. I can't wait to go back to the office. Luckily I just would walk to the office because I live closer to work and so I'm always wondering what about those who travel or who journey hours to work? Like, how do they feel? Like, 
know, it's just some way, but we just really have to be very careful, like extremely careful and all of that. Um, today I wanted to touch on a bit more technical thing about um, how to engage with our customers or how, how to engage the people that we come in to contact with and how to handle our clients properly. I mean, it's been on my mind to discuss some of these things, but mostly I'm just caught up with work and extremely busy and I have this very little time for myself and I'll probably just be on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, eh? hmm. Anyway, that's a discussion for another day. So I wanted to share with you a few some ways that we can apologize properly. Sometimes we feel like I'm sorry is just enough. But you know, sometimes you say that I'm sorry, but it doesn't even, it's not really in your tone of voice that you are sorry. It's like you've been forced to say, I am sorry. And it doesn't really sound like you're very sorry, you know. So I'll share a few things on how to apologize correctly so that the person you are dealing with understands that you are really sorry. Just a minute, I need to respond to somebody. Yeah, so, sorry about that. If you are new to the stream, I see five people. Um, Five people in the stream please give the video a thumbs up I appreciate you all so very much okay let me address Sahara quickly and then I would Charlie combining work and YouTube is not easy I always upload videos in my head <laughs> Oh boy, it's not easy. Oh. It's not easy at all. Um, they show up on my channel. It's tiring though, but we can make it. Oh yeah, we can really make it. I was having a discussion with Adam, Kojo Adam today, and we were expressing how difficult it is to keep a channel, keep a normal job, and all that, and then. It kind of like, and then I had another chat with a friend of, another YouTuber friend, it's okay, um, friend of farming. And I mean, we, I saw this video or this picture of a production crew with serious cameras and lights and everything. And they were like, that, that video, that photo has actually been trending since like three days ago. And we're like, whoa, this is mad. This is crazy. Like... I'm here and there's there are three videos in this view, three sorry, three cameras in this view, three cameras here, three cameras here, there are lights, there's a teleprompter, there's production like it's serious. And I like, you know, YouTube is a very difficult thing to do, especially if you don't do it full time. Plus you have other things. Um somewhere last year I was caught up in way too many things. Like I was working full time, I was I was I was I was going to, um, I was living with family, I was schooling at the same time, I had to go visit family, I had to um, teach children in the children's ministry, like Sunday school, yeah, and then, like, I had to always, one second, please. Yeah, and I have to always, like, try and keep up like with my life my life was just everywhere like everything was just pulling me here and there and then i decided that this year i'll take a long break of youtube like six months and then come back or even a year and come back really rejuvenated and everything and then i end up coming back again with food videos and everything and i'm like oh i thought i said i was going on a break what happened so yeah, it's really not easy juggling between work, school, sorry, YouTube, and especially if you want to be really consistent in um, shooting your videos and all that. Yeah, <laughs> I 
to the number of videos you shot in her hair, say, Charlie. Ha! It's not easy. <laughs> you don't do. So, yeah. Yeah, so procrastination is very evil. <laughs> evil, evil, evil. No time. Oh, Charlie. Hmm. And I really, really admire people who post like every day. I'm like, how do they do it? Like, how? You post every day on YouTube. Like, how on earth do you do it? Not to talk about the pre-production -pro work, the shooting, and then your editing. And, hmm, Charlie, it's just, it's just, it's just, I don't know. Like, they, 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 they release a video every day. Oh, this girl, um, Nanaya Traces. Well, I follow a lot of Ghanaian YouTube, like, not a lot of, like, I'm very loyal. Once I see the notification and I subscribe, I'll just go and watch. She posted a video every day consistently for like two weeks. I'm like, oh, I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> so I was talking about how you can really apologize correctly because sometimes you, a friend does something and you're like, sorry. That doesn't mean that you are sorry, even though you said it. It doesn't sound in your tone or voice. It doesn't show that you are is this like the whole conversation is going to go to a youtube conversation so yeah let me change so adam says mine is karna yes <laughs> adam yes and i'm glad you opened up to me on that one yes it's it's i think yours is a different situation but i'm glad that you're back again and you know what i think you should just do this like just forget about anybody or anything and Taha says some people and her income is from YouTube. Yes. I mean if you're doing YouTube as a full time job, like then in a day I can shoot like two videos every day and then just work on it and like every day I'm consistent. And you have to be getting more content for your for your for your video for your channel. So yes, if you do YouTube full time like Charlie that is you and that is your decision so i'm sure that people who do youtube full time are able to um juggle in and plan their own time and all that and yeah i think it just works for them it's anything that works for you i mean you can just work with it i i'm not i'm not um i'm not really i don't think i can do youtube full time because a lot of things are I'm involved in a lot of things so I really can't do YouTube full time um, <laughs> he said Lydia says Adam explain no oh, me I don't know what you mean <laughs> I think I'm so much you know moved into that direction I think I'll, I'll leave that to Adam to handle I think it's just appropriate that he handles that himself okay so he's gonna be sharing a video of his and then he'll be putting them up to talk about it himself like yeah i feel some way but yeah seriously adam will say he won't talk about it but he's really not ready to talk about it so let's give him some time he will be able to talk about it yeah I think that's it. He'll be able to talk about it. Um, so like I was saying, when you say sorry or I am sorry to someone, maybe your girlfriend or your customer or <laughs> and then I am you. <laughs> or you say it to someone, I mean, you have to emphasize and provide an understanding to the way you empathize with the person i think empathy is a very dicey subject if you're handling with customers or in any relationship that you find yourself empathy is a skill that you can build on if you are 
um, yeah, in your line of work or dealing with people. And it's the best way to empathize is to actually acknowledge and accept that you have let somebody down or you have been let down. And, you know, that kind of whole empathy that comes in dealing with people because you really can't take emotions out of totally out of your work but in managing it you're able to empathize with people and to let them know how sorry you are and all that Adam okay shush <laughs> yeah so back to yeah sorry and how to apologize so I, I, I had shared this video a while ago and I wanted to do a review on it so that we could just discuss this okay so the first point of we going out to say we are sorry is that we concede concede with um that's a c o n c e d e so concede is that apart from you empathizing doing the act of you apologizing right you are showing the customer that you understand the feeling of that person at that particular moment it's very important that you concede so in conceding it's like oh yes i'm, I'm very sorry that you experienced this and i understand that you have experienced this situation or you just acknowledge that oh it's true charlie what i did there it didn't it wasn't cool like you know that is conceding that's like the first step of you to 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 say i don't know how um um you guys would say you are sorry but i feel like apart from you just going straight away to say you're sorry sometimes you have to acknowledge the fact that you were wrong and i think this happens mostly in our relationships yeah either the lady or the guy would want to acknowledge that you are wrong like me you have to acknowledge that what you did it wasn't right like oh my friend just say it and understand my frustration <laughs> i'm going into character <laughs> see i'm such a character and i don't even understand myself sometimes <laughs> okay then so about conceding i don't know if you guys have something else to say about it but just let people know that like not people but whoever you're engaging with let the person know that apart from you saying that you are sorry you concede and accept and validate you know acknowledge that you know it wasn't cool like my god what thing you do that like that and you're lying now the second step of you um apologizing properly will be to clarify so after conceding where you acknowledge everything you will clarify now in clarifying this with your customer or with anybody that you are dealing with it is the fact that you are willing to understand why it happened so for most people who deal with customers right they would always want to know okay you have accepted that you're sorry yes but what happened what actually happened like let's know so that's like a root cause analysis like what happened um there are some comments popping through hey god friend <laughs> hi how are you don't forget to like the stream when it comes to you. I see you too, Godfrey. I see you. I see you. <laughs> and then, um, Sahara says, apologizing is not my thing at all. I'd rather show remorse. Okay, if that works for you, fine. But the other person will need to understand that you are really sorry. And that's what I said. You have to be very empathetic. Like, you, it has to really show in the things the way you are you show remorse you no know? like let the person understand that actually what lydia did was not good and she's actually remorseful and she's actually like saying that she's she's 
you will say you are sorry, but in just life, yeah, I didn't try, I didn't try. I don't know if that's what you mean. <laughs> Hi, Kwame. Hey, Kwame Dankwa. You, hmm, I'll meet you on the flip side. I'll fight with you. <laughs> but we'll take it to the other side, you know. But all the same. And I appreciate you coming through, Kwame. I appreciate you all the time. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I was talking about clarifying most people or most times that I've dealt with customers right apart from me myself or anybody acknowledging that there's a problem right um, they would want to know what actually happened like a root cause to prevent a next um, to prevent this from happening the next time and so it's it's a way of clarifying or justifying and showing some kind of transparency okay so one of the things that has helped me is always to apart from acknowledging the problem you try and explain to the customer why he or she experienced a bad experience and in our daily relationships right personally when i don't always try to explain myself no that's because whoever is listening to you cannot read your mind whoever is you are dealing with cannot read your mind and so the best way for you to let them know what actually happened is through your speech, right? Not necessarily to say that you are explaining yourself. And really, some of the things that may happen may not be your fault. Maybe you ran a service and there was a system breakdown or a system upgrade and so the service went down. It's really not your fault, right? So there's no need explaining yourself, but you're clarifying the issue or yeah the root cause to the customer and so that may be appropriate um Kwame says doing it for show or really mean it oh Kwame I'm serious ah. <laughs> I just miss you don't mind me Kwame I just miss you I just miss you I miss you pa like they yeah, have friend my wife friend me kakra now sister back up many things um kojo says showing remorse is a form of apology once the other party realizes your remorsefulness that is true like recently i felt very bad about how my mom acted towards me like she didn't really mean to but it was like the kind of vibe she was giving me like she didn't want me to go home like come back to home and all that and i felt so bad like on my way back home, I was with my boyfriend and then I was like, Charlie, but why is mommy doing this? Like, I don't understand. I'm feeling so, like, I felt so bad. So the following day, I had to call her that, what happened? Why was she doing that? Like, it's not like, I, I don't want to go home. I don't want to come back home. Like, I'm sorry, Charlie. Like, she made me feel so bad. And she said she's sorry, but she just missed me. So she was trying to explain why she was doing that but it wasn't intentional and like it's okay i understand hey henry welcome welcome to my life charlie you missed a lot ah so yeah just passing to you i appreciate it leave it to run <laughs> then you should watch the video afterwards okay Thank you so much for coming through, Henry. I appreciate it a lot. Hey, I said I was going to do one. I have not reached anywhere. Well. I haven't reached anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, yes, um, we've been looking at different ways of, or ways of which we can really um, apologize. And I think I missed Adam's one. Okay, okay, I talked about it. Um remorseful remorse is a form of apology once you know the other party um um okay let me see if there are some more comments coming through so um Kwame says you know apologies really are meant um to make the peace party feel good i have apologized a billion times yeah apology like whew. i'll share a story i actually come tempest but 
I just didn't mean a word. Like, so, <laughs> Kwame, I see that trick right there. <laughs> okay, I'll share the story. So, like, just like Kwame said, right? It has triggered me to share a story. Now, I remember, I'm going to share this, this story with Kwame. Kwame reached out as, um, on our support service, right? And dude was so angry. Like, huh, dude could kill a lion. Like, there are people who have actually reached out, right? And they've been really angry. Like, I don't know. I feel like people are just just do have bad days right and then we'll put out the frustration on anything that comes up to them so for instance maybe i'm having a very bad day with my boyfriend or family and then i try to use a service and it's not working and then at that moment ha it was at that time <laughs> that you realize that charlie you know get hurt so you just bullshit everybody like mm, i just use the bs word i'm sorry <laughs> you just bs everybody and you know just because you're having a bad day but in my in my experience right the number of people that have come few with who have had very bad days not not necessarily because the service was bad or the service wasn't working as at as at how they expected it but it's like they are so angry like they are they are venting and then i go like like i'm quiet and then they're just like are you listening to me at all like blah, 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 blah. And, then, and then i'm just like i'm listening to you please and seriously when you hear my voice over the phone or support um center like anything is warm it's calming like it's like i don't want to talk i want to talk like it's very calm like I've talked I've spoken with people and they're like you sound so warm like yeah because I want you to feel like it's an embrace like watching well okay hey girlfriend watch it while driving home I hope is you have your Bluetooth headset and you're concentrating on the road I need you alive please 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 please, please. I need you alive okay <laughs> yeah so like when you listen to my voice when it's work related like it's so calm like so yes sometimes you really tell the person you are sorry not because you mean it but because you just want them just to calm down because people really appreciate it when you tell them you are sorry and the way you say it my whole point about this um how to apologize properly is how you say i'm sorry not just like i'm sorry oh sorry at the end no but i'm so sorry like i didn't really mean it like i'm very sorry forgive me like something like that <laughs> okay so back 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 did i even share the story yes i shared it it was brief then the next one the next stage okay will be to cherish now this is just to cool and up it's just cool and um appreciate the and to appreciate the customer that they are using your service and so it demystifies the um uh, perception of you not having a warm customer interaction showing appreciation not for only the customer's problem but also for the person himself yeah i'll show you that this will always diffuse the negative feelings by mixing it with positive ones. You see that thing? Like, you have to separate the problem from the individual. The person reaches out to you with a problem. You have conceded. You have clarified. And so, the third, the, the cherished bit is to demystify the perception that you don't have a warm customer interaction in, okay in my next two videos i'm you you hear me talk about the fact that customer support agents really do care it's just that unfortunately people do not know how to show it so it becomes very difficult for you to just 
have this whole myth that customer support agents aren't warm but in trying to apologize to your customers when you cherish them like what i will do is when there's a problem and you call i know that there's a problem like i know that we have a problem and we send out communication some people will not see it not everybody really checks their sms or email will not see it and so people would call that they are trying to do this particular thing and then it's not working and so they will call now when they call and i won't even cut through i won't even cut through your statement i'll let you talk and see everything even though i know where you are and then right that's the mistake that we do we don't listen okay you guys should really watch my next video like i'm talking about mm, i almost spilled it i almost spilled it <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be interesting, you know, you should watch it. So once you get through to me and then, or to us or to me, yeah, and then we have an issue, I listen to you all through and then I'm like, yes, please, um, I acknowledge that we actually have a, um, a downtime at the moment because of blah, 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 blah. Now, it's at this point that I need to cherish that. And I appreciate that you reached out to us to clarify this. And I hope that you're having a good day. People would say it is very unprofessional. But trust me, it gives the customer some kind of bond. You tend to bond with the customer. You tend to appreciate them. They tend to have some kind of, you know, just some kind of energy, you know. So... It's very important that you cherish the person and acknowledge them for reaching out to you even though you have a problem um, oh, we have like two more to go so when do you accept faults when there's a potential legal action Charlie okay I'll, I'll answer that talking about me we mostly listen to respond not understand I guess okay so I'll let me take the listening bit first and then I'll come to the legal action. I'm just going to share my experience, okay? Yeah. So, um, with, it may not be a Kong Kong, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm going to just share my experience at all because I've come into contact with experiences where it's almost a legal action. Like, yeah. Oh, I appreciate you, Sahara. Thank you. I'll send you data next time <laughs> okay and guys i'm going to be shooting an assumptions video so if you check my community tab i have left a picture there and then an assumptions video will be going up if you have any assumptions about me feel free to uh, maybe leave it in the comments here or leave it on my community tab and then i'll say it in my video i'll be shooting that video tomorrow i think yeah so yes talking about listening so most often like i said earlier we don't listen to understand we only want to just listen and reply you fast fast like okay this is what you're talking about okay 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 yes please i'll get back to you blah 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 but when we listen to understand that is when we are we are not hearing but we are listening i think when we um, come in, when we have to respond that is just like sorry that is you hearing what the person is saying but when you are listening, it means that you are understanding what the person is saying. You are trying to use your mind, your intuition, your everything, and you are listening to, Hi, the better you talk show. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate you so very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope you are doing great. Um, thanks so much for coming through, girl. All right, so listening, yeah, so... In order for you to really understand what the person is saying, you have to listen and not to hear them. If you were just hearing them, it's just because you want to respond. Like, it's a yes or a no. Or, but if you really want to listen carefully, it means that you're understanding and giving a vivid solution or a resolution or something to avoid the issue from happening or the experience from happening again and then with um talking about um sorry when do you accept fault when there is a potential legal action see 
one thing that I've learned in handling customers is you should accept for at any time. I like to come clean. Like, I seriously like to come clean. If anybody has engaged me and I'm having issues with my connectivity or I'm having issues with my database or my platform or my um, software that I need to use or any of the tools that I need to use, see, I'm going to be very frank and very em em like emphatic. Like, Charlie, I was so sure of mentioning emphatic. Not in the same way, but. <laughs> so, yeah. So, one time I was dealing with, dealing with a lawyer, right? And he made a payment, it didn't go through, and he started threatening. Like, some people really overdo it, Kwame, no joke. Some people really overdo it, like they are lawyers, I'm going to take legal action, blah, 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 blah. I understand if you say it once, and then you tell me, and then you, you give me the time to look into the issue and get back to you. But when you start, I'm a lawyer, you don't know who I am, blah, 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 blah. Blah, and then in my mind, I'm like, see, I think I should do a video on what customers should also do or expect with customer support agent. Because seriously, people really look down on customer service people. I don't know if I may be wrong, but people who do customer service are not just there to receive calls. Some jobs like customer service, receptionists, like people really look down on those jobs. Like it, it doesn't mean that the person doesn't know anything or the person the person could probably have a master's and is still good at what they do so when you meet people on the other side of the line give them the same respect frankly people just overdo it but yes once a legal action is going to come in accept that you are at fault i mean me i like to come clean like it's just open like i'm just open like that and i'll let you know everything if you don't understand it i'll take that opportunity to explain to you what it entails because i will not if you don't give me that opportunity to explain and let you understand and then you just get up in a legal action that will be like a whole different ball game altogether so this was a um somebody from the ghana bar association right and so in reference to kwame your question about if the thing or how is a potential legal action and then you know, you have to do the necessary, like, due diligence, like, the necessary things that you have to do. So this person, his name wasn't in the list of um, lawyers in good standing. And so because the payment had delayed, his name was not posted there. And that is, like, a big thing for a lawyer because your firm needs to be there as being potential. is Because you renewed your license yearly or so, and then you are supposed to have your name on the list. So that lawyer could have easily taken legal action because yes, we were at fault. But what makes a difference is that when we agree that yes, indeed, we made a mistake. And so he gave us his, his, his claims, like this is what you have to do. Put my name in the graphic and give a statement. So in, in, in effect, we're going to take charge of that um, page in the graphic and we're going to make sure that the payment reflected and his name was going to be there as being a lawyer in good standing so yes Kwame I hope that answers your question if the issue or your default has to be a potential legal action hey Stella good to have you <laughs> one of my you know sisters so Stella is here. Oh, so how I said what? Oh, yeah, you enjoyed my life. Wow, it was interesting. Thank you. It's going to be much more interesting. See ya, Kojo and everyone. Oh, Sahara, I'm going to miss you, though. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And let's see what's going. So, um, Kwame, I hope I've, un I've um, explained or answered your two questions. I hope this helps. Like, yes. Yeah, so just make sure that you come clean all the time and just do what you have to do. Whatever due diligence that you need to do as a firm or as a company or as an agent or as an individual, just make sure that you do everything in due diligence and in due time so that both parties are happy. You know? Yeah. Um, 
So the fourth way of apologizing is to compensate. Like, this is a whole lovey-dovey thing because you're looking at retaining your customer and if it's in your relationship, you're retaining it by compensating whoever you have offended. So, these people are just having fun. So, another important part of an apology is making amends. In our relationships, once we apologize to our friends or family, we try to make amends by getting a gift, a card, to go on a date, and so on. Throwing money at the problem can at times be appropriate, but can also cheapen in the gesture. This might be an offer for some personalized attention or simply asking and assuring, let me know how, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. So yes, whenever you have finished helping a customer or helping someone and you ask further, let me know if there's anything I can do to help, be ready for anything. Like at this stage, how do you make amends as a business? Okay. I have had in your date. I have conversation. I have I never have had any of this person. <laughs> Call me, are you very sure? <laughs> so there are various ways that you can compensate with your clients, especially those who have run into issues. Now what we we sometimes do is we give you a compensation pack we call it something in my organization we call it something i've forgotten but if you're unhappy with something and like you you very eye ways and everything well it depends on whoever you deal with i can want i would more often want to suggest that charlie this customer is really unhappy can we just give him some fifty cities a time or give put some fifty cities into his slide pay account and all that or free email account like something right so when you compensate someone it's just by you trying to not like buy the person but trying to let the person have that confidence in you again like let's say your boyfriend does something to you and you are so angry and then like he's like Take this hand, <laughs> please. Me, I'll take it so don't shy me. <laughs> so, wait, Kwame, are you sure you never had any of this option? Okay, so sometimes, well, really, when you're compensating customers, it may not necessarily be um, like something you intend to do. But I have an example for um, as compensation. I remember a time when um, Ghana's largest telecom network, that's MTN, right? They had an issue with their fiber submarine cable or something. And this was, I'm, I'm very sure that we are all particular or we all know about this. But when MTN had that issue, what they did was one, they acknowledged that they had a problem because I mean, you run a big telco, so they had all the monitoring systems and they are able to know that something is wrong. They will let you know, and banks do that as well, but I can use MTN very well because they do well with the compensatory thing. So we'll stick to MTN. Then again, they would tell us that, oh, something is wrong. We've had issues with our fiber, submarine cable, blah, blah, blah. I think it took like a week. Now imagine the impact mtn does their customers their businesses their retailers their resellers their dvd customers their distribution like everybody is going to be affected data was bad but what mtn did in compensating that is they are trying to buy like like not like buy us but they're trying to buy uh you know help us or believe let us believe in their brand again and so they would i think after that period when the thing was fixed and they they sent an sms that the issue was fixed they sent us free data i think it was 
to gig data or something. So yeah, that's a way of compensating your customers because it is in all over the place, like uh, Twitter, MCM, Facebook, like Charlie Giddy Giddy Come. Especially when your business is in the incubator stage and you are deadly to suffer the loss. Okay, how do you make amends as a business? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Kojo, but let's give them some credit. It was some amount of compensation that they did. I mean, I stand to be corrected. Oh, mine worked. Like, mine worked, and so I'm talking about me. <laughs> so, Kojo asked the question, how do you make amends as a business? I don't understand it clearly. Like, hey, I almost said clearly. Hey, Charlie, Dio. <laughs> so, how do you make amends as a business? Okay, especially when your business is in the incubator stage and will be deadly to suffer the loss. Um, Adam, you don't need to really cut to... You need to break even in your business. And you're in a business to make profit. You shouldn't compensate when it goes... Like, don't compensate way overboard. Just the little thing. So, let's say that you have a package for, say, a thousand cities. And the customer wasn't happy about something. Just plus a little bit discount. And let's say you're charging, like, six... Um, did I say six? I saw six there. Hmm. Let's say you're charging um, 915000 that or because of that, I'm giving you a discount of, you know some something so so that it you don't really dig in deep and then you're making a loss but really it's very important that you find what works for you some people what i know about mommy she runs a trickle business okay her what she does is that when you're not happy with your initial purchase your next purchase will be delivered to you for free so that is a way to compensate a customer who has been unhappy because they left a bad review or something. So let's take note of that. It's not to really impress the customer, but it is to make sure that you have a great relationship going on with your business and your customers. The number of times you use relationship as an example, hopefully whoever sees this and has a be <laughs> you know, exemplary, like it's something that we can all um you know use it can be in marriage situations it can be in whatever relationship so yeah that's why there are two things that are like relationship or food and what again yeah two things relationship or food yes that's me that data that never worked oh edema are you sure and then Carmen says she's really enjoying hell oh. <laughs> i have to enjoy i'm so stressed like you guys don't see it then like my brain <laughs> so the last bit of um let me see let me see let me see let me see let me see, let me see. sorry i'm going to just do the last one and then so what are some of the things that you guys have learned today we really talked about a lot of things like a lot a lot a lot um oh come on Today, I did a trick where I made sure I restarted my machines before I came on live. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm coming up with the last way of... Okay, so the last way of for us to really apologize is to confirm. So finally, you apologize. Sorry. Your apology should invite a response, such as asking the customer if his complaint was indeed to his satisfaction. If not, what more can you do? Um, this means, this makes the customer feel involved and respected and possibly a part of the solution. This also assures him that you will be here for him whenever they have an issue so lastly a word of style so don't be so cliche like 
personalize your interaction so yes in confirming you're just trying to let the customer know that i hope your issue has been resolved for you and i appreciate it sorry for any inconvenience cause mm, sorry for any inconvenience cause cry it's really like a cliche right yeah so just tell the person i'm so sorry for the experience and uh, we hope that you won't face this again in the future blah 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 this is what is going to be happening but is there anything else i would like that you would like me to do for you so yes you can actually engage with your customers and let people know that you appreciate them let people know that you care about them it's not just about your money but build stronger bonds with your business clients and with your 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 clients and your colleagues because Charlie it's all part of the networking because trust me one bad like one bad recommendation is trickling down to like up to 20 people but once you're able to regain that person back because you have acknowledged that you're sorry and you're going to fix the problem it does a lot of good it makes a lot of difference um Kwame, okay Kwame says compensation really is a prerogative of the business oh, exactly how does a business know their package work so it's all about getting feedback from the customer after dealing with the customer you don't end there Kwame when you compensate the customer like get feedback from them about the service is everything fine now maybe like after three days or in a week's time get back to the customer get some um, clarification um, you had this issue on so so and so date and we fixed it on so so and so date this was the reason but is the system or the service working fine is your uh, product fine like just just let them know that you care so that it's not like you're just in for their money like i said earlier on so early on um so yes just find out or figure out which particular package works for you is it going to be a discount package for the next purchase is it going to be an instant you know money back or just anything that you know that works for you and also at the same time make sure that your business is not running at a loss yeah else how do you pay your workers okay so adam says from the time I joined, you were teaching us how to say sorry and mean it. Adam, you missed the first part. How to not only say you are welcome when someone says thank you. Yeah, I shared 10 different ways of which you can respond to a thank you appropriately. So, if you haven't watched that video, did they do your body? A Okay, so... Then we talked about conceding, yes, and making amends. We talked about compensation. We talked about confirmation. Ooh. Clap for yourself. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> so yeah, before the, 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 the ways of apologizing, we looked at how to um, respond to a thank you appropriately. And I was asking you guys how your day was going and... We had an interesting discussion. I think I should do this uh, as often as possible, right? So yes, the first um, way of um, apologizing correctly will be to concede. Um, make sure you use that skill of empathy in dealing with a hey, what's going on in dealing with your customers because everything that you say should be from your tone of voice. Um, and your body language for customers that are facing. Hey, Lori! Belated happy birthday, girl. Belated happy birthday, Lori. <laughs> Welcome, girl. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Hey, you, you chilled on your birthday. Oh, Corona and Pony. <laughs> So the first step was that you can see that means that you are um, acknowledging that you are at fault and you're validating the issue. The next one is to clarify. Clarify doesn't necessarily mean that you are explaining, but you just want to be able to justify the situation 
and build some level of trust and transparency yes and then the next one will be cherish where you probably you cherish the um, not only the problem but the individual that's the person who has contacted because trust me I was I forgot to mention that when you have a problem with your service or with your product or anything only about four percent or less of your customers reach out to you the rest will not they will just go away but you have to appreciate those who actually come to you and report or give you that feedback and so like i think very good feedback very importantly and i like critical critical feedback like don't just give me some feedback and just see what it is when you give me feedback like suggest another way that we can do something so that will help my business to grow and be better and then the find a compensation package that will work for your business and at the same time i'm at a loss and so it's very necessary that you take note of the compensation packages and then you personalize the attention and also follow up after content just to make sure that your customer has been retained because Charlie, these days if you lose a customer it's like you're going to be fine looking for a pin in the ocean he's gone bam so confirming is that you are put you have apologized and so at this point you're trying to ask the customer is great or if you have they should let you know and make sure for the customer i'm going to be discussing a lot more just take and stay my body is telling me that i'm tired i have a lot to finish before midnight and then i can sleep um shall you? sleeping part is like Change. So that was just a recap of all that we have discussed. See who is here. Bye. <laughs> Rick, 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 Rick. Why are you late? Why are you late? Why? Why late? Why late? Why late? Say cheese. Take a picture. Hey. 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 Charlie, enjoy me. Next time I'll play music. I didn't really plan for this live but next time i'll play music rick thank you so much for coming to you do well to watch the video it's been really fun you missed a lot i want to thank everybody for being here i'm so sorry next time i would send an invite i didn't really plan on going live seriously i shot a video and then i'm like i can't let all this glam go away like that <laughs> So thank you so much, Rick. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you, Adam. Adam, dear. <laughs> thank you, Stella. You came through. Thank you so much. Kwame, you have been very interactive with Adam. And it's been so great to have you here today. Kwame, I appreciate you. You should be coming through as often as you can. Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Kojo Adem has been there. Sahara was there earlier. Sahara Movies, I appreciate you so very much. You were really engaging as well. Um, Godfred, Wusa Godfred, I hope you've gotten home safely um, since you were driving when the stream began. Henry Convict, I appreciate you so very much. I hope you finish your work in time and get some good sleep. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Cyber Reviews, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cyber Reviews, for being here. Me and AJ, I appreciate you. You came in briefly. I don't know if you're still here, but thank you so much for being here. Gallo the Headshot, thank you so very much. Um, oh, that's it. Oh, gosh. I appreciate you all so very much. And if you came here, just give me a thumbs up in my video, in my live. I upload a video every Friday, so do well to stick and stay Friday between the hours of 10 and midday. I'll be uploading a video for my YouTube fan. And follow me on Instagram at Liddy Babes. Same name on Instagram, same name for Twitter at Liddy Babes. Um, oh, hey, 4Ks. <laughs> 
Hi, Paul Kavio. Welcome. You're pretty late. I'm almost wrapping up today. And I hope that you all enjoyed the stream. If there are anything that you want me to talk about, just let me know. And guys, I'll be shooting an assumption video tomorrow for my next video. So if you have any assumption about me, please go to my community tab and leave a comment on the very first image. I left there that I was going to do an assumption video. So, excuse me, just go check out my community tab and feel free to let me know what assumption you have about me, okay? And then I will debunk that. I'm actually looking forward to, to the assumption video. It's really gonna be fun. Like. I would do it like a live video, like I won't be all serious, 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 you know, not like a customer service video. So I'll, I can't wait to do, Rick, go and leave your assumption about me. <laughs> Either you send it to me on WhatsApp or anything, just share your assumption video and then um, I'll add you to the list. Oh, Godfrey, thank God you are home. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I worry so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you've had something to eat because food is very important. I know what food does to me. <laughs> Guys, please do well to uh, let me know what assumption you have about me. You can leave it in the comments or go to my community tab and look for the first, um, first image that I have left that I'll do. I'll shoot an assumption video. So that my video will be fun, okay? So we'll have some good time. Anything else for me to say? I'd want to sign out. I pretty much have a lot to do. It's what? 10 p.m. No kidding. It's 10 p.m. Wow. Whew. How did I get here? Time flies when you're having fun. Guys, I don't really want to close the stream. I don't really want to. That's my water. I don't really want to close the stream. I really like you all being here. Like, I really don't want to close the stream. I'm very particular about the assumption video. I hope that you guys will go and leave it, like, leave a comment somewhere in the subject. So that I can just, you know, share and talk about it. I really want to do an assumption video. It looks like it's going to be fun. The concept is pretty cool. And, you know, hmm, it's interesting the kind of things people assume about me. I'm even shocked. Like, I'm totally confused. Some of them are just so wild. But I'm thinking of whether to share it. Stay on. <laughs> Someone is missing me. Kwame, call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Oh, you guys, no one has commented on my assumption video, but I've had uh, comments from Instagram and on Twitter and on WhatsApp. Yes. So, please, Belakwa, please. I didn't Belakwa in my house. Nobody spay me. <laughs> hmm. Belakwa, if you're watching this, this is for you. I think I used to put Belakwa in my videos some like last year unknowingly and someone, I think it was Kwame, was like, is Belakwa paying you that you have the Belakwa bottle in your video? Like, that's free advertisement for them, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Black Kwame. Hey, <laughs> Black Kwame will not kill me. Hmm. Yeah, guys, so I think I'm going to share a link to my community tab. Um, that will make it easier for you to go and comment, okay? I think this is a link. Yeah, I've, I've left a link there. I hope that it takes you straight to my community tab and then you can... Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I just replicated. Is right. I just replicated it. So, so I shouldn't drink water. You before... Leave me alone, though. <laughs> Please.
please. I'm just drinking water. It's nothing. It's nothing. Ha. Someone should just, you know, show them this video that yo, this girl is potential. Yeah. Potential. Sikaka kwa. Belaka kwa. Belaka kwa kwa. Sikaka kwa. In Sudia. I'm not near Belaka water. Hmm. Belaka. Oh, I dry. <laughs> See, you guys are making me fool. <laughs> I finished saying all that I want to say, but yeah, if you guys have anything, I beg, please go and leave your assumptions there. Kwame, please go and click the link and leave your comments. Whatever assumption that you have about me, please put it there. Some people, eh, they are waiting. When I finish shooting the video, then they'll come. Good night. Good night, guys. I gotta go. Thank you so very much for being here. I appreciate everyone, everyone, everyone. I've mentioned all your names. Thank you so very much. And Adam, I see that you enjoyed the live. I know. I enjoyed it too. Bye-bye. <laughs> The picture on that link, the viewer. So my shadow, my shadow, my made a share on it. So go and comment, leave your assumption, whatever that you think about me. Just put it there, and I'll debunk it. True or false? Yes or no? <laughs> this video will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So, guys, that's just it for. Oh, no, I didn't. Kwame, I'm waiting. Oh, go and leave, um, um, what do you call it? Make sure to go and leave a comment, okay? So that I would see you. I would see you. I want to see your comments in my notification. Sorry, in my community channel or my community link. Yes, I'm going to shoot an assumption video hopefully tomorrow. And I would want to see so that I can just put everything together. All right. Ah. Don't forget to like the stream and have a good night, guys. I'm really drained. I need to catch some sleep. It's not like I'm even going to sleep right now. I would sleep like after midnight. Yeah. This is what adulthood does. Like, you sleep late and wake up so early and you're even more energized than you were but life goes on baby guys i gotta go cheers i love 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 you all like i love you all so much and thanks for the support my videos are coming up do all well to watch them leave a comment and share my videos so that others will get the opportunity to watch. And yeah, if you see me in a video or serious, like that is my personality too. But I like it here on live. Have a good night. I don't know what I should sing a lot of time. Two, two, sorry. My voice is horrible, so yeah, I won't even try. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Ah, <laughs> Kwame says that they suck you. Okay, I won't suck you. It's okay. Oh, love you right back, right back. Since Kwame doesn't want me to go, I will play music. No singing. I won't even try it. I won't even try it. Sing me. Ha, lie, lie. I'm looking for my keyboard so that I'll play music. Mm -hmm. Coming to play music, okay? Adam, you are so savage. <laughs> you are so savage. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> you are so savage. I'll get you. Hey, then you are savage, Papa. 
You know that, right? You're so savage. You're like, what? <laughs> you are so savage. Um. Hey, is that it? Oh, um, you want me to run it silently? Okay. Let me actually put the rest together so I can just. Well, how come I'm leaving and a lot more people are coming? I know I can count on you. Hey, Nana Hema. Hey, you know, Nana Nana Hema. I'm going to have a silent life. I mean, at this point, yeah, I can't do anything. You guys are having a good time, so I'm going to just leave this and I'll come in, you know, as and when. So, give me a few minutes, I'll be back to you. I think what I will do is to end this live and then do um just a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking of ending this live, okay, and then just opening a new one for a silent stream. What do you think, Anna? Oh, now you are expert in live stream though. Mm -hmm. Now what do you think? Should I I want to end the stream and then open another one for a silent live stream? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've heard of Johnny Drill, but 
I got introduced to him by a friend and trust me I'm stuck I'm stuck to that guy Am I a bro? I didn't cry me. Oh my mind, yeah, yeah. I'll be so far away. Wait on your words for me. I get a thing of you every day, my love. Yeah, yeah. I may not come today again. I'm playing music for you guys. Ah, uh, don't do that. If I should do a a reaction video, right? I'll do it with Johnny Drill. Do this thing for you and me. Sally, no way out that way. You own my life. You are my And I run to the finish line. Kwame, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you every day. I may not come today. I'm gonna do my facial routine and then I'll come back. My love, yeah, yeah. Kwame say says, I say last you.
Guys, good night. Thank you.